All right, so we have an array here that we're going to apply the quick sort algorithm to. And we're going to find the lowest index, which is 0 in this case, and the highest index, which is 8 in this case. And these are going to be assigned to variables low and high. Now, we need a pivot element, which is going to be used for comparisons. To do this, we're going to use low plus high minus low divided by 2. And then we end up with index 4 being our um, pivot element, which is 5. The first thing we need to do is assign two variables, i and j, to indexes in the array. We're going to assign i to the lowest index and j to the highest index. We're going to run our first comparison now. We're going to ask if array i is greater than the pivot element. If it is, we're not going to increase it. And we're going to do the same for j, but if j is less than the pivot element, we're not going to increase it. In this case, i is not greater than the pivot element, so we're going to increase it. However, j is less than the pivot element, so we're not going to decrease it. Now i is at index 1, and we see that it's 8. So, 8 is greater than 5, so we're going to not increase i. And at this point, since both are not going to be increased or decreased, we're going to make an exchange between the two. By creating temporary variables, we are going to exchange the two elements. Once we exchange them, we're going to increase i and decrease j. At this point, the value of i is greater than the pivot, so we're not going to increase it anymore. However, j is still greater than the pivot, so we're going to keep decreasing that. Now j is at a value of 3, which is less than the pivot, so we're going to make an exchange again. Once more, we increase i and decrease j. We increase i again and decrease j, and they're at the same index. Increasing i again and decreasing j, we end up with a problem. j is less than i. Written in the code, if this happens, we have to go into recursion. So now we're going to split the array into two parts. 1, 4, 3, 2, and 6, 9, 7, 8. We're going to ignore the 5 because it's in its sorted position. Now we have 1, 4, 3, 2. Using the high and low equation from before, we're going to end up with the pivot element being index 2, which is 3 in this case. We're going to increase i because it's not greater than the pivot, but we're going to not decrease j because it's less than the pivot. Now i has the value of 4, which is greater than the pivot, and j has the value of 2, which is less than the pivot. We're going to make an exchange. Once exchanged, you can see that it is in perfect sorted order, 1, 2, 3, 4. However, the computer will have to still split it up into multiple arrays, but we're not going to go into that. Going back, we have the array 6, 9, 7, 8. Our pivot element is going to be index 2, and that is value of 7. We can both increase i and decrease j. However, once we get to j at index 2 and i at index 1, we see that j is at 7 and i is at 9. And since 7 is not greater than 7, we are going to make an exchange between the 7 and the 9. Now we have the array 6, 7, 9, 8. We're going to split the array into the 6 going on its own, the 7 going on its own, and now we're left with 9 and 8. Index 1 is going to be our pivot element, which is 8, and already we meet the requirements to exchange, and so we're going to exchange the two elements into the array 8 and 9, and then that's already sorted, so we're done with that. And now the array is sorted.